said, we're here to talk about Plan for Jobs, um, which has been helping Londoners and people across the nation now um, for quite some time. One of the biggest um, parts of that is probably Kickstart. And I know we have a video that we're going to show you in a moment before I um, introduce the rest of the team, um, which will just tell you a little bit about what it's all about um, and how it can help particularly our young people in this instance. Can the Kickstart scheme help you? The Kickstart scheme is helping a wide range of employers create thousands of government-funded job placements for young people. Who is it for? It is for 16 to 24-year-old universal credit claimants who need additional work experience to improve their chances of getting a job. How will it help me? The job placement will last for six months, and while you are on it, you will get paid at least 25 hours a week at the national minimum wage, or national living wage, depending on how old you are. What else is in it for me? In England, you may be able to progress onto an apprenticeship with the same employer. The employer will support you to improve your chances of getting a permanent job. This support would be tailored to you and might include developing your skills in the workplace, career advice, help with CV writing and preparing for interviews. The Kickstart Scheme is an example of the support available to you through your job centre. Speak to your work coach to discuss what might best suit your needs. Welcome back to the pop-up shop. I hope that showed you a little bit about the Kickstart Scheme um, and how that's helping um, thousands of our young people. Um, one of our specialists and our absolute diamond in this particular field is my colleague here, Fola, um, who, apart from, uh, amongst other things, uh, coordinates the events, particularly around Kickstart as well as a lot of our job fairs. Um, Fola, um, could you tell us something about some of the events you've had recently and yes, how they've helped people? Thank you, David, for your very kind words, and thank you for the warm welcome to Deck London. It's been amazing. We've been here for the last few days, and it's just a great opportunity to talk about what we do best. We at the Department for Work and Pensions, we work with various partners, various employers to support young people into phenomenal opportunities. And Kickstart landed last year, December, as an amazing opportunity created by the Chancellor of Exchequer to support young people into brand new created jobs. And we're not just talking about everyday young people, we're looking at young people that might be at risk of long-term unemployment or young people that are quite vulnerable and need that little extra to support to start their first job. So as David, my colleague, just mentioned, thousands of amazing opportunities ranging from hospitality all the way to marketing, IT, whatever sector you could imagine, Kickstart has it. And um, every week I work with a colleague called Tim, he's here with me right now, and we've, we've organised some amazing events. We're looking at the Mayfair Hotel, we're looking at Box Park Croydon, Box Park Wembley, with about 85 employers showing up and 700 young people all attending, signing up for jobs on the stock spot and getting into work straight away. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the... It's the, a great, great uh, feeling to see young people getting the kickstart placements and uh, the confidence that it gives the young person. It's, it's a, it's a considerable source of job satisfaction to know that you're helping young people develop a positive future and help them develop uh, skills to help them in their later life. So it's a great thing. So, and, and then Tim, would you say the atmosphere at these events, quite exhilarating, quite exciting, the employers come on with splendid arrays of opportunities as well as, ha, tell us a bit about the excitement you've experienced at one of the most recent events you've had. Absolutely, I mean, it's, 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 very buzz. it's a buzz in the air. I mean, there's a lot of excitement, you can feel the... Uh, Tension in the year about the young people, are they going to get a job and then they walk out, walk out of the doors with a job? It's, it's, it's excellent. And a massive smile on their faces. Yeah, indeed. And back to you, David. Thank you. Um, one of the other parts of Plan for Jobs, um, which is open to all age ranges and is a really good way of moving people um, into new sectors quite often. If they've come out of one particular sector, they can't get back into that, and that's um, the Sector Based Work Academy programme. Um, and this particular one um, has been adapted um, since um, the pandemic to try and help move people in. There are three parts to it. Um, there is some pre-employment training, which gives them some useful, valid training. Um, they then have some work experience. Sometimes this is done online, sometimes this is done face-to-face. -face. And this gives them a bit of a feel for how that particular job environment is, what it's like to work there, what the other people are like, what people do. Um, and then it's finished off with probably the best part of all, which is they have a guaranteed job interview. Um, and 
very often that will lead them into um, work with that employer um, in a completely new, uh, a completely new sector. Um, I don't know whether or not Bola, have you? You've had quite a lot of experience of working with swaps as well. I know. Yes. Um, have you found anything in particular? I know you've done some in particular categories and sectors. Yes, so TFL is one of our biggest fans when it comes to swaps. They recently did something for women into engineering. So once again, great opportunities for all ages, not just kickstart, as you said, for our plan for jobs. We've got jets, we've got swaps. And um, we also work with a very difficult group of uh, people with challenges that will struggle with getting into work, and that's because they've been in... in We've got people, we, have, we have people that um, have, a, have a lot of difficulties. They may have been in prison, they may have illnesses um, and, health, and health conditions. Certainly with people, with people who have been in prison, there are stigmas which we, we work with employers to, work, to overcome as well. And we have, within the prisons, we, we have staff in there which actually work on the employment side to get people their tr training um, to, to, to go into roles. We work with employers on the outside as well, and employer brokers, and really get it, getting those people so when they come out they can get into work and don't, and don't re -offend. And if someone goes into prison on a short sentence, we will actually work with their, if they've got a current employer, we'll work to, with their employer to keep that job open for them. And that is, it, these are people who have a really difficult time of it, and um, yeah, that, that does help sort of un underpin, underpin that as well from there. And when it comes to the events, Ian, you've, you've hosted many, many job fairs in prisons, haven't you? We have. Um, we, it's, uh, a lot of the, the resettlement prisons which release in, into the community, they we, we, will have, we will have job fairs there, we will get employees in, we work with the education departments in there. They have, they have various things. So, for example, where I'm based, where they have, they have barbering, they have tailoring, uh -huh. they, they have... There's those who work in the kitchen, there's radio, there's radio, some of the prisoners do things like radio and communications, oh, others do decorating, and certainly in, in Pentonville, where I'm based, we, we work with a local painting decorating firm, so that they can let people out into training and actually into work, and, and they will actually place people in work as well. It's, there's a lot of opportunities in there, yes. Fantastic. So, going, handing back to David, would you say in our plan for jobs agenda, there is something for everyone? Absolutely. Um, I think anybody from any walk of life, um, there are help. There's help out there for people. Um, even at the moment, there are skills boot camps that have been running. Um, this can be up to 16 weeks of training, quite often delivered online. Some of them are face to face. There are a huge amount, particularly in the digital sector, which is a big. The digital and tech sector is a huge um, sector here in London and the southeast in particular. Um, and that's something that again can help people move into that. Um, there are some green, um, some green boot camps that are coming up soon, which will be on sustainable um, and um, eco-friendly um, types of careers. Lots of opportunities. Um, certainly with the kickstart side of things, I know Tim, you work with the employers, um, helping them to fill their vacancies. The variety, I have to say, of employers and opportunities has been absolutely incredible. From all sectors, from IT to finance to uh, and marketing to business, maybe hospitality. Business, yeah, it's sectors. really good. That's really good. There's so much out there that um, I think we can help with. Um, and we're also there to help with people's benefits while they're waiting um, to find themselves into their new career. Um, Ian, I know you know a fair bit about Universal Credit itself. Yeah, certainly. A universal credit, all this is underpinned by Universal Credit from the benefits side. Because Universal Credit has, makes it much easier moving into work, moving around in work, moving in and out of work. Because it's replaced the old legacy benefits of job seekers allowance, employment support allowance, income support, tax credits, housing benefit. And so inst instead of having to sort of come off one benefit and maybe get over and claim something else where you're starting work, you stay on the same thing. It's, you stay on universal credit. It makes it much easier. It's much smoother. It's, it's also designed to make sure that work pays, that actually people are better off. Because one of the great things about universal credit is that there is a sliding taper. So as you earn, you don't automatically lose ev everything. And one, and one of the things that's changed recently is that that taper rate has altered so that for every pound anyone earns, they keep 45 pence, so that 55 pence is taken off. 
So they keep 45 pence for every pound they earn and as that gradually slides down. Now, and it includes, because it includes people's housing costs, that could be a long, that could be quite a long way down before it gets down to the point that something is zero. So it is, it is really good at actually making sure that it's easier to get into work, there's no 16 hour rule anymore, that it's, that, let's say, it, that it, is, be, it is better off. There, there's no, there's, you, you're not caught in a position where actually if I take this job and I lose these benefits, actually I'm going to be worse off. You, you do get that extra because, say, because of that tape rule, which is really, really good. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. Um, I think that's probably everything from ourselves. Bona, have you got anything that you wanted to add? Yeah, just to say thank you so much to Debt London for inviting us this week. We've had an incredible time. We'd like to tell our audience that it's a candidate's market. There's two million jobs out there. We're working together as the DWP on our race to jobs, plan for jobs agenda to support everyone into work through the brilliant, amazing programs that you've heard about today. So thank you, Debt London, and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Cool. Thank you so much.